and that's one of the most watched trends in global economy the price of oil it has a huge bearing on the economic equations in every country and with the imposition of large scale lockdowns in several parts the cost of crude oil plummeting to a historic low the gdp of several countries predominantly dependent on the oil industry countries like saudi arabia kuwait uae qatar they've been relying on oil resources excessively and with the us oil storage running at full capacity amid the crisis the demand and price for oil have also fallen the oil sector in saudi arabia amounts to 50% of the country's gdp with excess oil supplies in the market amid a drop in demand due to the pandemic saudi arabia is faced with a weakening economy it is now being predicted that saudi arabia is estimated to grow by only 0.7% this year as opposed to the previous forecast of 2% At the beginning of the year oil prices were trading between 65 to 70 dollars per barrel the slide in the prices began as china shut down all its factories due to the pandemic today the oil market is facing a staggering collapse with prices hovering around 31 dollars per barrel and in qatar contribution of oil to gdp is around 30% however with deeper deeper fiscal buffers than saudi arabia Qatar can afford uh, this drop in oil prices but it is very unlikely that it can withstand the trend if it is prolonged in Kuwait the GDP share of oil is close to 46.5% and in Bahrain it is just above 30% in recent years these countries have attempted to reduce their need to rely on oil they also sought to diversify their economies predicting a drop in oil prices but the coronavirus crisis was too soon for them to have been prepared in uae the oil share in the country's gdp is about 30% but it now faces the coronavirus crisis uae is also borrowing billions to counter the falling uh, oil revenue however there are also they are also falling short of funds due to lockdowns and the work which has been halted as a result The collapse in oil prices is also severely impacting Venezuela's economy. Oil comprises 95% of the country's exports and 25% of the country's GDP. It is facing economic sanctions and political instability already and is left with fewer options to keep its economy afloat. The drop in oil prices will put countries under tremendous pressure. Most of these countries will end up being under heavy debt. they are also likely to face high levels of unemployment due to lockdowns which would eventually lead to economic stagnation that's the ripple effect of what we are witnessing in the oil markets the world health organization has been constantly slammed for its lukewarm response when the pandemic broke out in china the united states maintains that the who was too late in sounding an alarm but the body insists that they have nothing to hide listen in but at the same time having cdc staff means there is nothing hidden from the us from day 1 because these are americans who are working with us and just comes naturally and they just tell what they are doing and for who it's open we don't hide anything it's open who reiterated that the presence of the us government agents at the headquarters means that no information was ever concealed from washington there are about 15 staff members from the us federal agency cdc who work together with the who the organization even insisted that political leaders should not try and exploit the pandemic for their own political capital who also saying that they have been warning about the virus since day 1 and i have been warning we have been warning from day 1 this is a devil that everybody should fight but reports suggest otherwise china reported the first cases of the coronavirus to the who on the 31st of december this was almost a month after the first case was detected in wuhan who even endorsed china's narrative during that period downplaying the magnitude of the crisis it was only after several days that it reported limited quote unquote human to human transmission 
But even then, the organization downplayed the findings. WHO even declined calling it a public health emergency of international concern, even as cases emerged in other countries. And after declaring it to be an emergency, WHO took almost over a month to declare COVID-19 a pandemic. As the world continues to grapple to cr with the crisis, the WHO has now warned that the worst is ahead of us. This warning comes especially as countries are looking at easing the strict lockdown measures. As does, the worst is yet ahead of us. Let's prevent this tragedy. It's a virus that many people still don't understand. Many countries are very developed, putting the wrong conclusions because they didn't know it and got into trouble. And we warned even developed countries saying this virus will even surprise developed countries. It did. We said that. It will surprise even wealthy nations. We said it. It's on record. Let's stop additional surprises. Let's stop tragedy. Hundreds of thousands now dying is serious. Even one life is precious. Let's say enough is enough.